includes containers of different shapes and sizes to measure, transfer, as well as store things. Amount of quantity stored depends on the shape as well. Let us explore how shapes of similar dimensions are related in terms of storage capacity. In technical terms, volume of the container. We will consider three shapes, sphere, cylinder and cone. These are hollow shapes so that we can measure volume. Radius of all the shapes is same and height and radius of the cone are equal. We will use sand to fill each container. Let us place these on a paper. Sand spilled during the transfer can be collected on this paper and put back in the container. Let us start with the cone. We will fill it completely. Any excess sand is removed with the help of a ruler. Contents of the cone can now be emptied into the cylinder. How many cones do you think can fill the cylinder completely? Three sandful of cones are required to fill one cylinder completely. How about spear? Let us repeat the same process. It's not very easy to pour sand through this tiny hole. We'll use another cone made from plastic sheet for the same. It turns out that we need four cone full of sand to fill this spear completely. It's hard to see inside this spear. We can repeat the same activity with these two hemispheres which are cut from this one big spear. Can you guess the number of cones required to fill this one hemisphere? You guessed it right. We can say that it takes three cones to fill one cylinder while four cones are required to fill one sphere. This is true only when radius of all the shapes is same and height and radius of the cone are equal. How about actual dimensions? We can use ruler to find out but it's better to use vernier caliper to measure inside diameter. This digital one is still better. For the cone and cylinder, inside diameter is approximately 60 mm. Radius will be half of that, that is 30 mm or 3 cm. Height of this cone is 30 mm or 3 cm as discussed earlier. With all this data, can you refer to your textbook and verify our findings with the help of formula? Give it a try. If you don't have a sand, you can use rangoli or similar material for this purpose. How about using water instead? Will it give correct results? Think about it. Ratio of volume for these shapes holds good for other dimensions as well. 3D printing these containers gave us control over the dimensions. All files used for 3D printing these objects are available for download so that you can try the same in your ATL tinkering lab. Thank you.